Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your October 16th till October 22nd weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have created a Facebook Live Feeds page and you will find the link below where other readers and um, anybody can go for guidance or other readers can go to share their gifts live and you could um, get in on a free mini reading via the live feeds on in that Facebook group. If you'd like a private reading you can send me an email and that the prices are below. I have pre-shuffled these decks and I feel like it's time to deal so we're time to lay out the cards so we're gonna go ahead and do it This is for Sagittarius. <laughs> I just want to make sure this is zoomed in. Thank God I checked. I want to make sure that you guys can see the cards. Basis of your reading is the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. The Page of Swords is a very fast moving energy. It can single signal that you need to be cautious. There could be trouble this week. There could be some conflict. There could be something that comes about that causes you or causes some tension. Um, we do have the high priest. Some secret could be revealed. Okay, but you might already know what this is because the high priestess comes out when usually your, your intuition is telling you something and you really need to listen to your intuition. It's really not a secret. Okay. But we have the high priest as well, all right? So I think a lot of you really need to listen to your inner guide. Your intuition is um, really speaking to you this week, very much so, with this card, this card, and this card. So really pay attention to your intuition. I see that, you know, you need to be cautious about something. There's some drama, so somebody could could cause some drama in your week. Um... <laughs> There could be some gossip. I'm sorry, it's not starting out so well. Um, there could be some jealousy. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And you may be thinking about leaving this person. This is a man or a woman. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We, and I think that a lot of you are feeling trapped. Maybe you feel trapped with either the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe they, you feel like you just like to get away from them or and you can't or you're waiting for them to get away from somebody i see that you the there's some expectations that something was going to happen that things were going to get better and maybe they aren't getting better i do see um there's some satisfaction here though there is some satisfaction, some um, wish fulfillment, and, I, and some, and some um, moving away, moving away from something. So I think many of you might be thinking about leaving a situation, thinking about freeing yourself from somebody. Um, you're just waiting for the right time. Um, I do, yeah, I see a lot of you are, there's delays, and it could, the delays... There's like uh, ignoring a situation, blocking something out, blocking your intu intuition, blocking your feelings maybe. Some of you might be blocking your feelings about something. Um, yeah, I see like some blockages here. Maybe you guys are going to block somebody for, on Facebook. Maybe somebody's going to harass you, okay? Just saying. I think that there's... Um, you're, there's something to be aware of, okay? There's definitely something to be aware of, and there could be some gossip, some some little petty argument, some some drama, all right? 
Um, and I see that you're just going to be like, to hell with this shit. I just want, I want peace. This isn't what I want to know. I'm gone. I'm out of here. All right. So a lot of you might be thinking that, like that. I just need to get out of here. I don't want to be part of this shit. Goodbye. All right. Um, I do with the three of pentacles. It tells me in the three, we have another three here too, three of wands. Um, there could, there's gossip. There's definitely some gossip this week. Try not to get involved with it, all right? Uh, uh, we have, uh, with the Three of Pentacles, back to that, there's um, communication, and that's where I came back to gossip, okay? There's some kind of communication going on, and it's like, it's jealousy, it's spiteful, it's vindictive, it's like <laughs> stupidness, all right? Um, and I think that you can... You can get through it by being grateful for who who you are, okay? Knowing that that's not who you want to be. Leaving it. Say, you know what? I, I can't. I'm not going to be part of this this drama. You know, I don't want it. Um, there's a lot of drama and conflict and caution and spitefulness and, like, little bickerments, negativity, okay? So just try to not engage. Move yourself out of the situation. Many of you are going to be like, you know what? I'm out of here. Goodbye. You know, I don't have time for this, all right? Um, somebody might have a very big ego. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but somebody has a very big ego and their pride might get hurt. So just, you know, consider that. Consider consider that when, in, when you get involved in this drama, okay? Because I think somebody is going to involve you. Um, let's see. And with this, with these people right here, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is man or a woman. And the same with this one. Okay, because these court cards are either. All right? So, anyway, I'm going to get the next deck while I'm talking. It feels like a lot of you are feeling like, or you are trapped in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore. And you can free yourself at any time, but you're comfortably trapped, Okay. You're comfortably trapped there because it's like you you just don't know what to do. It's like you feel like you don't have any other options when this card and this card comes out. It feels like you don't have you feel like you don't have any other options. And I think that it's a, it's t definitely you're pretending, you're ignoring the truth of a situation. Now the Magician, we have the Magician tw card twice. This card signifies that you must take action, okay? this You, you have to pay attention to something. Pay attention. Are you pay atten paying attention to the signs, okay? Because we have that your, your intuition is really trying to talk to you, your inner guide. You have this, you have this awareness. You have this insight that you are ignoring, okay? You do. You're ignoring, ignoring. Insight, 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 insight. You're ignoring something. You're ignoring something coming from inside that's trying to tell you something. You're just like blocking it out, but you keep hearing it. You know it. And whatever it is, it's the truth. All right? This is the truth. This, this woman delivers the truth. Okay? So, and it's sometimes harsh. The truth might come out harshly. Ooh. All right. Oh, God. Same card. You guys are feeling trapped in a situation, like I said, or feeling trapped. Maybe you are trapped, but this is a false entrapment. Feeling like you're imprisoned. Feeling like you're trapped somewhere. Feeling like you can't move forward. Okay? It's all up to you. It's up to you to put yourself in the driver's seat. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat. It's up to you to, to grab the reins and move forward. It's up to you to do what you need to do, to take action, because this is an action card as well. It's up to you to follow your intuition and to follow your inner guide and to listen and to stop ignoring. This card says that you must do it, okay? You must. Nobody's going to do it for you. It's time. It's time for you to take action and make a move. And you've been hearing what you need to do for a while now. You know what you need to do, but you've been 
blocking something. You've been pretending that everything's okay. You've been ignoring that you have to make this move. Okay? We have the unknown card here. This deck, this is the Crystal Visions deck, is the only deck that has this card. This card says that this is something, all this drama and the, this whole week, some, this is meant to be unknown. So something is going to happen this week out of the blue. And you don't know what it is. It's, it's unexpected. Okay. And because it's going to cause an outcome, a major outcome, that is going to have a big impact on you. And it, it can't be, be predicted. Okay. It can't be predicted because when it happens, you learn the most from it. Because you didn't have time to prepare. That's when this card comes out, and this is in your your cards this week. So it looks to me like there's something could happen that you are not prepared for. Okay, so beware. Like I said at the very beginning of the reading, reading, be cautious. Caution. I see caution here. Right at the like almost one of the first words that I said during the reading is caution. All right. So beware. There could be some trouble and some conflict this week. Something intense. All right? And it could come out harshly, whatever it is. It looks like there's some vindictiveness. So beware. Beware. Try to back away from it. Walk away. Walk away. You have the power. The Eight of Swords is a false imprisonment and you have it twice it's all up to you can you walk away do you have the strength to walk away from this drama this is drama or do you want to just be there involved in it do you can you take the reins and move on Sagittarius Let me get you one of these. These are from Doreen Virtue, and they are angel guidance cards. Ooh. I am going to zoom that in and read it to you. It says there's nothing to worry about. I don't agree, but I think you can handle it very well. Obviously, this card came out for a reason. I can get it right. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence in universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortless, effortless, effort, effortlessly to and through you. Effortless. <laughs> I'm not even going to keep going. All right. So that's what I have, Sagittarius. Sorry. I can't seem to, to speak tonight. Talk to you later.